I'm gonna get the day. Good morning, precious. Hold still, hold still. How you doing, baby? Happy Saturday. And today on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shakenya. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shakenya. And hit subscribe, guys. Look at some of the videos. And if you see any of them that you like, any of them, please hit share. Guys, I just met a gentleman in here, had on the same sweatshirt I had on. This is my homeboy, Mike. He over there on school craft and green field that's where his story is right so we chit chatting out i made a friend new follower that's what's up look guys we representing our own our people i know i represent others this cartier i know i know i know this movado i know i know i know i know, I know. but this is a lord <laughs> this is a black owned company and I tagged them the same as I tagged these other people. This is Mike I tag him just like I tag everybody else. So yeah, y'all we got to get into the habit of supporting our own people That's all I'm saying and we got to do it more and more often in any, any way you can if you can go out your way to go to that black gas station on seven mile out of drive Do that if you can make your way all the way over there on Davidson to go to that black owned gas station before you go to another one Do that. You know, I'm just saying go out your way that's all to spend with your own people that, that's all so today a couple questions <laughs> we do not judge here on this network so just know that anything I say to you is not meant to meant to make you feel bad it's not meant to meant to make you upset it's not meant to get you all bent out of shape and want to come look for me. No, I'm here strictly to help in every way that I can. I know that's all I want to do. So if you think anything ill, if you feel some kind of way, I know I'm telling you before we get started with the mission is and is not, right? So here to help. So just a couple questions. Do you look for the good in people? Or do you just automatically assume the worst when you see them? Do you trust people until they do something to you to make you not want to trust them? Or do you trust no one? Right off the rip. Nope. Are you genuinely happy for people in a moment? Do you celebrate them? Do you, are you happy? Or are you secretly hating because you wish it was you? Do you give them people their flowers now? Like give people their props, let them know how you feel, give them to them. Like right now, while they're here to receive, or do you throw yourself on the casket at the funeral? Like, oh! And do you tell everybody after that the type of person they was, what they did for you, who they were, what they meant to you? Me personally, I want to hear it now. Like, it's a few people, every time I run into them, they always telling me how they feel. They happy for me. They rooting for my success. They this and that. They happy of everything that I've accomplished. They appreciate what I've done for them. Like, it's good to hear every now and then. I ain't saying you got to do it every day. You ain't got to rally for people every day. But when you see people and when you think about them, and when you call them and let them know how you feel about them. Call them and let them know how they've enriched your life in some kind of way. Call them and let them know what they've done for you just from a few words that they've probably said to you or a couple things they might have done for you or things that they've probably done in their personal life that inspired you to do better or do something. Yeah, let them know. People be wanting to hear that type of stuff. Do you lift people up when they're feeling low? 
What do you kick him when they die? <laughs> it's people in here, y'all. So. Inside voice. Do you help people when you can and when you able? Or do you say no, even if you can't? <laughs> I know. Can you come pick me up, Q? <laughs> I'm right down the street from you. <laughs> no, I ain't even at the creek. <laughs> but you sitting right there with your shoes on. <laughs> you sitting, keys in your hand, because you about to go somewhere else. That could wait. Yeah, it could, you can go pick that person up, take them where they got to go. They probably going in the route that you already going. So it ain't really that much huff and fuss. I'm just gonna pick them up. Gone. If you able. Do you do anything to uplift your people? Do you buy black? Do you support your own? Do you... Or are you one of those <laughs> who get a little money and go move out and go spend your money with everybody else but your own people? <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> Do you give back to your community? Now that you have done well for yourself, you've moved up the chain, got some money saved, you living good, living well. Do you give back to the community? Do you go back to the block? Do you buy the block up? Do you... Help the people that's still over there in the area. Or do you get as far as away from your people as you can? You get far away from them niggas. You ain't you know, I want to see. See, no nigga where I'm at. You, I rise above that. I'm better than that. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I ain't just ain't here to judge. I'm just asking questions. Are you a positive person? Is the glass always full on your end? <laughs> mm, halfway full, we halfway there Always positive, always optimistic Always got a good encouraging word to say about whatever the situation is Or, <laughs> are you a negative nanny? Everything is all bad Ain't nothing good coming Nothing, no options, no opportunities It's just nothing, nothing, nothing Pure darkness Like every time you light a lighter, lighter it go out Like <sighs> Exhausting Are you that type of Eeyore type of person? Yeah, nothing's going good You know such and such died <laughs> Well you know my knee went out Well you know I can't do this I can't do that can't do this. Can't do that. Can't do this. Can't. Just asking. Do you hold grudges? Are you that type? Hey, Sherlock. What up, Instagram? Good morning, TikTok. Do you hold grudges? Stay mad? Stay on 10? Fight on sight? <laughs> or do you forgive and forget? Do you promote and speak highly of people in social settings? Like somebody name come up, got something good to say about them. Some you speak on everything they doing well. You or <laughs> do you gossip and talk to it about everybody that you come in contact with? About somebody that you come in contact with? Like ain't never nothing good. It's always something bad about them. You telling all their business if you know it. Like are you that type of person? Yeah. Are you a hater? Do you hate on everybody? Like anything anybody do is just you just hate the fact that somebody doing something. Or you type of person that encourage that, encourage people stepping out on faith, encourage people doing something different, encouraging, encouraging, just being encouraging, up, you know. So y'all, that's it really for Coffee and Conversation. I had an excellent show last night. We had Papa Duck on, so I hope you get the opportunity to go to YouTube 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, Motor City Radio. I hope you get an opportunity to share the video. I hope it was just that good to where you like, damn, this is a good radio show. Yeah, that girl, she can't be having some people on there. Let me go look through some more videos and see who else she now had on the show. Damn, she now had, she now had this person on the show. She now had that person on the show. Damn, she now went to L.A. and interviewed somebody. Damn, she is in Atlanta interviewing somebody. Oh, shit, is she in Miami? <laughs> oh, my God. Let me follow her. Let me see what else she doing. Let me scroll through her pages. Oh, shit, I'm just a girl. She fixed houses. She paint? What? Damn, that's what's up. So let me see. She got this radio show. She do houses. She paint. And she got a youth program. She deal with kids with behavior issues. What's the name of that program? Attitude Adjustment. Damn, she been doing this, what, over 20 years? Oh, she doing jail tours? Oh, God damn. Let me follow her. Mm. Dysfunctional Family Not. What's that? Oh, that's a book. You mean this young lady actually wrote a book about the dysfunctions in her life and how she dealt with them and how she got through them? What? And you can purchase that book on Lulu Publishing or Amazon? Damn, let me follow her. She got a cleaning company. What? Are you serious? She actually got contracts. She actually got a franchise through Jam Pro and she has contracts. You be seeing her clean? She be cleaning? She be telling you how to get your own business and how you can start. Do she? Damn, that's what's up. Let me follow her. Yep. And in return, let me share all her videos. <laughs> so y'all, that's it for coffee and conversation with your girl Shakinya. I enjoyed you. I hope you enjoyed me. I'm out.